I'm going to talk about uh, some reactions of nitriles, but like the amides, they're not particularly reactive, and the only ones we can really going to talk about are the hydrolysis reactions and the reduction with uh, rainy nickel. In the case of a hydrolysis, uh, we're looking at an acid or a base type uh, mechanism, and you can see they pretty much follow the same mechanisms as we've been looking at except now we've got a triple bond so it's almost like the water adds twice because we end up getting a triple then it goes down to a double and we end up getting our uh, carboxylic acid at the end and the byproduct here is ammonia as a as a gas and you'll see it just goes ahead and follows the same pretty pretty much the same acidic pattern as we've been looking at uh, with regard to the basic mechanism, again, we form a carboxylic acid in a, in a basic environment. So it's worth saying the NH2- minus is going to take the hydrogen off here and form ammonia. And then in the last step, the carboxylate ion will take the H+, plus that's, that's added in the second step here. In the case of uh, rainy nickel reduction, we're using a nickel-aluminum alloy here and it's uh, been treated with sodium hydroxide which makes the structure very porous and uh, adds a lot of surface area and that allows for the reduction of nitriles into amines so this represents another way that we can get amines and you'll notice in this instance that the amine will have the same chain length as the original nitrile had since we're not going to lose any carbon atoms in this process unlike say with the uh, Hoffman degradation